Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lockheed Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 25 Area of Rectilinear Figures Exercise 25C Question Number 5. This is the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are 60 meters and 40 meters and one of the diagonals is 80 meters long. What is the area of the parallelogram? Now see, again I'll make a parallelogram here just for your convenience. Something like this. In this parallelogram, what has been given to us, two adjacent sides are eight, uh, 60 meters and 40 meters, right? So one I will take here as 60 meters, this one, the smaller one I will take as 40 meters. Now it is saying that one of the diagonals is 80 meters long. So I will take this diagonal, okay, so this is coming 80 meters long. Now. What is the area of the parallelogram? That is the question. Okay. So see, we have to calculate the area of the parallelogram, but we have got the parallelogram again divided into two triangle. This one, this one, two congruent triangles. Okay. Whenever the diagonal is going, it's dividing the parallelogram into the two congruent triangles. So that means if I calculate area of any of the two triangles and multiply that by two, I will get the area of the parallelogram. So, First of all, we will use the formula that is of area of a triangle. That is what? That is the root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Right. So this thing we will be using to calculate the area of this triangle. We don't know the base. Uh, sorry, we don't know the height here. So we cannot use half base into height formula. Okay. And this is not an equilateral triangle, so we cannot use root 3 by 4a square here. So this is the perfect formula, that is the Heros formula. Let's calculate S. So for this, we will do what? See, add all the sides, 40 plus 80 plus 60 and divide by 2. This is what? 0, 8, 6, 14, 4, 180 by 2. So S is coming to be 90. That is, that is the value of S. Now, the area of the triangle, calculate that. So, root C. First of all, 90. First, you can begin with any side you feel like. Let's begin with 60. So, we have 90 minus 60 into we have 90 minus 40 and then 90 minus 80. Okay. 60, 40, 80. So I have written them here. Let's solve this thing. Let's see what do I get here. 90 into 30 into uh, your 50 into 10. This is what I get. Okay. After opening the brackets and subtracting. Now, we will break the numbers down as I said. So it is your choice in what way you want to break it down. I will break it in a simple way. C. Um, what I'll do is 90 I will write as 3 into 3 this is 3 into 3 that is 9 and that I will multiply by 10 so this entire is for 90 3 into 3 9 into 10 is 90 30 I will write as 3 into 10 okay so 3 into 10 50 uh, now how you will write this 50 down okay so over here, first of all into 10 here, it will remain now 3. This is not divisible by 3. So I will write it down as 5 into 10. That is coming out to be what? 50. Okay. So see. Now see this I can uh, put in into the form of pairs. We are, are going to use root a into root a is equal to a. So first this 3 and 3. So put here 3. This 3 into 3 is 3. And now into. Now this 10 and 10. So into 10. Now again into this 3 will remain unpaired but we will come to that later. Now see this 10 and 10 again. So into 10. Okay. Uh, so this 10 and 10 is paired and this is left. 3 and 5 are left. So what I will write here uh, your uh, into and then root 3 into 15 uh, sorry 3 into 5. We will not remove the root sign from the numbers that remain unpaired. 3 and 5 don't have any other uh, number to get pair with, right? So we will put it under root in the under root sign and then multiply these two. Okay, you can multiply them. It is perfectly fine, but you cannot remove the root sign. Keep that in mind. 
let's solve so 3 into 10 30 into uh, your uh, 10 again 3 into 10 30 and 30 into 10 that is coming out to be 300 into root what 15 this is the area of one triangle you can write this as 300 root 15 now area of the parallelogram entire parallelograms area i said before that the parallelogram has been divided into two congruent triangles okay so i can multiply this area this is the area of what one triangle and i want of two so i will multiply this by what two so two into 300 root 15 so we cannot multiply with root 15 i'll multiply 2 into 300 that is 600 root 15 and put your unit also here square meters here also put square meters so 600 root 15 square meters is the area of the parallelogram you can solve this root 15 also and whatever answer you get in the decimals put that and multiply to get the perfect answer perfect area and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye